Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gamerman, and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. I just got finished eating Mexican food. Takeout, obviously, or whatever you want to say. Um, takeout, leftovers. So I'm in a pretty good mood. We're going to enjoy this game together, y'all. Especially after this good-ass food. Starting off with Connor here. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Burger joint. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Ah, we're making up, aren't we? Do, 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 do. Let's see. We're at the chicken bar. Nothing of interest. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me. Sitting back and reach wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Food hygiene license expired 2031. Renewal refused. Oh, jeez. What about, what about buddy there? Gary K's 1988 business owner resisting arrest. Breach of hygiene regulations. Bro's been warned. Lieutenant Anderson. Obviously. And then we got Pedro here, apparently, is his name. Illegal gambling, unemployed, and fraud. Anything else of importance? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Uh. <sighs> um. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. Yeah. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. All right, what we can look at here? Hamburger. Kilocalories. Carbs, 50. Good Lord, water, 50 for 3%. It's not a lot of salt, I don't think. Then again, it's in grams. Extra large soda, sugar, a lot. Pineapple passion. Pineapple drink? Uh, thanks, Hell Jared yeah. Star. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Oh. Absolutely sick and tired of your shit. Uh, company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? <clears throat> yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. I missed something, but anyway, um, let's go Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. Uh. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. 
Emotions always screw everything up. True. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> um. Hank and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. uh, um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof of the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Oh, yeah. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Ah, uh, <laughs> friend. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Yay. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hank's like, I like this guy. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Anything important? Not that way. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Right. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding... Pigeon feathers. ...in an LED under his cap. Is this this uh, one right, scene? We have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. The one that I'm thinking about? Hopefully this is the one. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Oh, shit. Fucking magazine. What the fuck is this? Pigeons. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Oh my lord. Pigeons. Well, looks like we came for nothing. What is that? Cereal box? Wait, hang on. What was the objective? Oh well, never mind. Um, okay, there's two things to look Our at over here. Gone. What the hell was that? Analyze. Urban farms of Detroit. Fields in the heart of the city. Okay, location. Poster corner. 100% recycled paper. Recently moved. Well, let's move it. Can we move it? Oh, we sure can. 
Hiding something, eh? A book? What the fuck is this? Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Pigeons! Even more of them. Anybody in here? Nobody. I set them free though. Yay! Connor, android sent by Cyberlife and avid pigeon saver. Anyway, there's some over here. Oh wait. Open the fridge. You got any beer in here, dude? It's a party. Suspect doesn't eat. Android. Android. Move pigeon. Cares for wild animals. Well, I could have told you that. Okay, what next? Let's see. Got a couple things to look at here. <clears throat> Military jacket. Oh shit, stolen Part valor? Two. Probably initials. I what fucking initials hate in his jacket? stolen That's valor. Something your mom does when you're in first grade. Fake ID. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Well, let's go in this room. What's in here? Fucking RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. <clears throat> Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Huh. Obsessive compulsive writing, just like... What's his face? Okay, well, let's look. Oh, shit. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. It's LED. Once again, fucking, you should have thrown that shit somewhere. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Ew. Ew. Okay, that was disgusting. It's probably pigeon shit. Like, that's actually fucking gross. Anyway. <clears throat> well, thanks for the lines, but I don't need them. Wooden stool, recently disturbed. Traces of pigeon shit. Opened marker pen. So yeah, dude was writing. Had to be. Yep. Suspect was recently here. So we're gonna start and... Oh shit! Oh! Fell onto the cabinet. Ran to the living room. Birdseed. Can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these. Okay, we got fingerprints. Recent traces of pigeon shit, no fingerprints. But what do you mean? Fingerprints right there. Metal hook, recently broken. And dents and scratches. Traces of metal. Alright then, so bro must have hit it. Yep. Ran towards oh. Hit the stool. Oh. Fuck they sure it. like hiding a lot, don't they? Alright, fucker, I'm on your way. Oh shit! God damn fucking pigeons! What you son of a bitch! For? Chase it! Get over here! Oh shit, quick time events? Okay, I'm good at this. I mean, they're gonna be easy, obviously. It's easy controls. 
Oh, and I'm playing this, by the way. Okay, I'm on your ass like grass. Wait, scan. Fast but risky, easy but slow. Fast but risky. Balanced, fast but risky. Fast but risky. Right about that, fucking directly crowded, safe detour. Directly crowded, I'm on your ass, bro. But yeah, these quick time events are much easier, thank God. They're not as glitchy. I'll probably switch back to the controls. But then again, maybe not. Maybe I just want an easy playthrough. But no, that wouldn't be right. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Whoa, what am I doing? Okay, uh, safer, fast, risky. Fast, risky. Why should I stop? It's been working so far. That's literally all I'm doing is pressing X. Holy shit. I probably just need to recalibrate my system or something. That's why the fucking controls don't work. X. Really easy. Safe but slow, directly crowded. Still not changing my game plan. Okay, square. We went over this way. And circle. Went over that way. And X. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna just run straight. Oh, what the fuck? Dude. Oh, shit. oh shit! We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. I got a lot of points for that, by the we way. We know what it looks like. We'll find. <coughs> I got a lot of fucking points for that. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Wow. Connor died during chasing. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh, somber? Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. Oh, shit! You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. Deal with it? 
You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. <coughs> Jericho. What are you doing just sitting over here in the dark? Okay, I didn't know I can actually start a fire. I, I just got a lighter. Okay. Well, uh... Who are you? I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? No, but I've no. seen it. No, I don't. I've seen death. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh my god. Windows error. Okay, I can't even joke about that. That's actually sad. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat so much, guys. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's fucking January. It's cold as balls. And I can set another fire. But yeah, allergies are probably all over the damn place. <clears throat> See? Like, I'm not even meaning to do it. Like, it's just... It's an automated response. Oh my god, am I an Android too? Ah! What about this guy? Also, get your head out of the camera. I'm not in very good shape, am I? No, sir. My diagnostic program isn't working. That's not good, man. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Oh my lord. Fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Well, man, I don't want you to either. Maybe there's something we can do for you. Y'all are literally just sitting around waiting to die. There's Lucy, but... What else is there... Do. I could light another fire. They sure make it obvious that that's Lucy. She's freaking humming and. Wait, hello. Hello, baby. Who are you? Uh. Wounded. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Um... How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. <clears throat> Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Uh. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Oh yeah, this is Josh. <clears throat> Him out when they didn't want him anymore. That's a fucking android kid. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. 
We salvage what we can from those who shut down. That's fucked. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Damn, y'all need me. Uh, I seem like the smartest out of all y'all. It's over here. Cyberlife crate. Empty as hell. Maybe I can, like, run out and get shit. Bro's got the location of the plant? What the hell? Well, anyway, let's go see Lucy over here in her place, whatever this place is. This place don't look good. Hello, Lucy. Are you Lucy? Sit down. What? The hell is wrong with you? <clears throat> Bro's missing her head. Show me. Bro. It's not what I meant to say. Well, hold on. We're getting freaky. Oh. I'll stop the bleeding. I hurt myself. You're lucky I don't feel pain because that looks like it'll hurt like balls. Hey, look, is that Prime? Drink this. I didn't know you had a Logan Paul sponsorship. Shout out Prime, by the way. Sponsor. Not really. It's a chug jug. I'll shut up now. I feel rejuvenated. Give me your hand. Oh. I said I didn't want to get freaky now, okay? You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Well, she's right about me seeing hell. I literally came from the ashes. Which I think coincidentally is the name of that mission. I was looking at the missions earlier up to this point and it was called like from the ashes or something anyway wake up Simon I know where we can <clears throat> find spare parts cyber life warehouses in the Detroit Harbor they have everything we need the docks are guarded we can't just walk in there and take what we want humans will never let us which is why we won't ask permission we don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Yeah! How long have I been recording? 31 minutes. Let's keep going. G 
Jesus Christ, it really is Detroit. It's always fucking raining. Distant because you slept in a car! You gonna be okay? We're gonna be working on that though, trust me. We'll get some help here. I'm not perfect. As as be just a bad memory. <clears throat> Place. Some Castlevania shit. Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Be shy. This place is crazy. Follow Luther, Zlatko. Would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. My God. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Bro, a basketball player? Tall as hell. Please? Probably a farmer. Make yourselves at home. Farmer android. I don't know. Damn, look at my hair. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? I guess so. What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours. And then you'll both be safe. Isn't that that LED, Come on. though? Follow me. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. But wasn't that my LED, uh, though? The little one can wait for us in the living room. The one yeah, that shows she my. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, he went there. Of course. But isn't the tracker that one like thing that way? was on my head? Everything the we one... need is in the basement. Can you shut up? I'm trying to talk to my peeps here. Books. But, um. Ah, I thought my tracker was my LED because it showed my fucking I like this place. And model and everything. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Uh, reassure. It'll be okay, Alice. He's going to remove my tracker, and then we can start over again in Canada. You want that too, right? Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Alice. Removing trackers is illegal, so 
I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. Oh. That's good. But, uh, I thought my tracker... Also, I cannot see. Okay, there we go. I thought my tracker was my LED. What the fuck? If you could just stand over there. Uh, yeah, let me just... <laughs> okay. Looking like Braytech Exoscience over here. Shout out Destiny 2. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Oh my lord. I can move around. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? Yeah, because I already fucking yeah. removed it. You People fucking liar. What they want. I fucking knew it. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. Sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. Lock it up. I'm so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Oh, shut up. I knew I fucking removed my tracker. That's my fucking LED. Everybody else is doing it, so why didn't I pick up on it? Oh my god. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. Oh! I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. 10%. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? What an asshole. All right, that's enough. Come on. Oh. <clears throat> you bit me. Really? I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Lucky I didn't see that. Carl! Meet me in the living room. Uh, I gotta get out of here first. Uh, thirty uh, percent. Oh fuck! I gotta go. Um, bro, bro's an idiot drinking vodka. Uh, oh, push. Push it. Do it. Okay. So what was that, a cooler of some sort? Yeah, how do I yank on the... Uh... Yellow cable. Yellow's more appealing. Pull. What the fuck? Yellow. Green cable. Try it. Come on, bitch. Do it. And pull. Beautiful. Okay, I gotta get out of here somehow. 84%. Blue cable. Fucking go. 
X. Pull. What are you doing? Uh. Uh. What the fuck? You're literally powerless. If you die at the end of this game, I will not fucking envy you. <laughs> I will not. That, I'm actually heated. I do not envy you if you die at the end of the game. Come on, I do not. You are powerless. My memory gone, bro. What the hell? Help us. I'm doing this for what reason? He erased her memory. No. This can't be happening. You have to remember. For her sake. He likes to play with us. Creating monsters. For his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. What the fuck? You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. Bro, how do we get in these situations? You know, nothing pisses me off more than shit that's meant to be easy fucking being stupidly hard. Oh, but it's for the plot's sake. I bet you 900 Bitcoin that there is a fucking way to stop that shit from happening. And of course, I wasn't able to fucking do it. books um I don't want to be seen doing this oh don't mind me I'm just a mindless robot I don't know what doors are uh, don't mind me um, jackets make yourselves at home I should kill this bastard for what he's done. Meet Luther in the living room. Uh, what's this? Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, yes. sir. Uh, nothing. Anyway, bring it up, so, upstairs. Great. I can't believe that shit happened, dude. I'm actually pissed off. I tried creating a short circuit. The only thing I fucking shortcuted. What? The only thing I short circuited was my fucking self. <laughs> uh, just set it down on the table over there. Uh, over here. Bro's diet's fucking immaculate. Uh, get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. Please fuck off out of work. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Bro reminds him of... Did you hear what I said? Todd. Yes, Lako. He really does look like him, though. Holy crap. Uh, carcass next door. Anything I can... Nope. I better do what he's told... Uh, telling me to do. Luther! Luther! Yes, Laco. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Laco. I'll bring you the little one. What the fuck? In ten minutes. 
10 minutes? Oh lord. I gotta remember myself in 10 fucking minutes? You gotta be kidding me. Who is the little girl? Remember, I'm trying. What the fuck is that? What? Android bear. <laughs> Open a cage. I'm you, and you are me. I hope. Oh, okay, so he knows that I'm an android, because if he knew I wasn't an android, he'd probably rip my balls off. Anyway, what's this? Bro does red eyes? Holy shit! Everybody does red eyes in this city. Oh. Wait, it said my name's Kara. I gotta find one more thing. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. Shut the hell you up. Here. You have no business here. Can you shut the hell up? No, you have no business here. Shut up! If you have no orders, you should go on standby. I'm sorry about the little one. Uh, what's in here? Fucking magazine. Oh, shit. I need to find one more thing. Wait, how much time? Nine minutes, eighteen seconds. Okay. I don't know where this goes. Oh, there's plenty of shit in here. What's this? What? Alice in Wonderland. I remembered. Find her. Check. Check, please. What's the point of that? <laughs> what was the point? What is the point of all this? Oh well, um, but what is that? Oh wait, two corridor, two corridor. Alice, where are you? Like, holy shit, dude. Try here. Let's fucking go! Let's go, dude. I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Okay, we gotta sneak out.
That's him. Shit. Fuck yeah! Go, bitch, go! To bedroom. Gotta go through here. There's smoke everywhere. Luther! There's a fucking fire! Luther! Girl walked right in front of me. Bitch, we gotta go. Bro's got a shotgun. I got caught. Bitch, you better go back door, never the front door. Circle. Oh my god! Oh my god! You tripped over nothing! Go, Alice. No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! I warned you! Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Oh snap! Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. I set his house on fire? Oh my lord. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Wow. Well, did I mean to set the fire? Probably not. So I'm I'm now a kidnapper and an arsonist. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you <coughs> cross the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. A bodyguard. All right. Trust you. I was so scared of losing you. The bear! The bear's alive! Oh, thank God, dude. I was just thinking about that. The bear! Anyway, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, 
you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be working on the next part right away. Take it easy.